What are you what are you doing? What are you doing? No, that's gasoline. Was there uh, some type of direction? Or you just felt like this is what you needed to do? Okay, Cherokee War Chief, what on the earth does it have to do with an MLK? Same mentality, okay? And that's why he's putting you in a position in which you can Where still the breathe. They're on their way. But mm -hmm. you're... Uh, nobody's, nobody's trying to hurt you we just want to make sure the house nothing happens to it and no, we are just we, yeah are, are you comfortable just young lady looking at this crib. okay as long I as you can breathe are you comfortable we're good my sister. I, I call my sister and tell me we're doing that's, that's no it's it's the police are on their way it's fine oh, my God. yeah yeah oh, okay i hear you cooling the it's, it's fine the police are on their way Okay, so if it's in a row emergency, like there's no emergency vehicles. Well, it seems like they didn't know the address. Here. here they come. Okay, I hear something. Here we tell the to come down to the priest. Here they come. Opposite direction. You doing okay? So, we were, me and him were looking at the house, just checking it out, we're not from here, and um, she came up behind us, had a gas can, and at first she just seemed like she was kind of doing her thing, like I thought maybe she was watering the plants she or something. She to be using the gas can yeah. to water the plants. And then she had trouble getting it open, so eventually she unscrewed the top and threw it to the ground, and walked up on the porch and under the rope and started dumping the gas all over the porch. So instantly it's like, okay, this is not good. And, and I said, what are you doing, what are you doing? And you could smell the gas. So she came back down, she dumped the, she dropped the can in the bushes and then came back down to grab her lighter. Hey ma'am, you alright? Mm -hmm. I would you wanna be checked out by Grady or something? What's going on today? You wanna stand up for us? This is her phone. This is oh, her key. This, this is her car right here. Yes, and that's her car. You got the keys also? And this is the ladder that was on her? Right. And now, for the moment, all you motherfuckers been waiting for. All my flip mode niggas rise and away from the most powerful event to occur. The coming! The coming! So the woman you see here who is had to be named, tried to set fire to Martin Luther King's home, or one of his homes that he occupied. I think this happened in Atlanta. But yeah, this is the woman, okay? Right, and, and while we're at it, uh, one of Martin Luther King's other homes that he occupied was burnt down the same fucking day. But they were caught fire, we'll just say that. Alright, there's been no, uh, there's been no, no uh, official cause for that other home burning down, but it could be arson. All right, could be arson. I got a problem with this. All right, the first problem I got is that, you know, if this is real, then she doesn't. She looks very clean, and you know, she looks very clean. Then, you know, I think that if you try to do something like that, too. Or in Luther King's house, that you should look like. Well, you should look a certain way and shit. You know, I'm talking about street justice. Okay, I'm just really fucking tired of this shit. So, just let you know, I'll probably put on my ten four ten four poofy. I'll probably put on the ten four poofy. All right, but I have something to say about this shit because I'm irritated and fuck. 
right? Next year is an election year, okay? And, you know, for the whole of fucking 2024 shit, black community will be receiving a number of, you know, bullshit. It will be a number of bullshit, uh, you know, hate crimes, and, you know, racial, egregious racial acts by people of all ages, and, you know, creeds and colors and shit. You know, you know, another thing about this case is that, you know, this woman was filmed in the process of doing a crime and shit. You see her there, just calmly going about her business, about this set, this uh, home ablaze. And the people are just talking to her all normal and shit. And they see her with a gas can. They eventually supposedly subdue her and shit. Like an off duty New York police officer and shit, okay? And everything just went according to plan and shit. There was, the camera was like very steady and professional and everything. And no one's calling anyone a crisis actor and shit. But to me personally, if I'm like walking by and I see a woman with a gas can uh, getting ready to set fire to Martin Luther King's house and I feel a certain way about it, uh, she's going to look really bad, you know, when, when they pick her up, okay? I'll leave it at that. She's going to look really, really bad. And a lot of you people know that I'm a misogynist anarchist. And that has nothing to do with what I just said. Okay? I remember going in on B. Simone a couple years ago when her and her cohort, you know, her and her, you know, female cohort decided to shred Martin Luther King and shit for supposedly cheating on his wife. And I posited that I didn't even care if that was true because nobody knows how it feels to be having someone trying to kill your ass every day. It's the other than Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Red Hampton, these people gave their lives for our ethnic community and shit, or the ethnic community that we used to have before these bootlegs and, you know, these traitors took over and these, these uh, the Sanders, you know, and these people, these covert people that's really, you know, part of a certain community and shit. All right? Well, I was, you know, get really pissy about Martin Luther King. All right? I was so upset about his daughter making disparaging statements that, you know, I, I, Positive, I would never listen to another thing that Bernard, Bernice King ever said and shared it. But on the flip side, I understood why she was saying that her father gave her life for black people, for the black community and shit. And look at it today. Imagine how she feels. Her father went away to help people and never return. Right? And she was left with her mother, was left to raise her alone. Right? The mother was pure on a virtue. For all we know. Right, and, and here you have a a black woman calmly uh, getting ready, supposedly to set the place ablaze, and people are talking to her, and she's just like talking back, and you know, pouring her gas out and everything, and, and stops to look for a lighter, and you know, and it's a dude, very calmly, and they're all talking to her very calmly. You see, the cops are like, uh, "Hey, no pressure is being applied. We're just restraining you until the authorities arrive." And this woman was committing arson, and she's just laying there. She's not fighting back or anything. She's very calm and lucid. And the cop is calm and lucid, even though he's off duty and supposedly on vacation in this city. Then you have a chief of police talking about it, and everything just so by the book, in front of the camera. And I'm just saying, like, you know, if I see you about to step fire to Martin King's house, but you're going to have some issues. You'll, you'll be lucky to have walk away with a limp. I don't see any black people doing this shit. I don't know, really know what to say. I'm in my 50, fucking 50 and shit. And I feel like after I go, that maybe a generation or two after I go, you fuckers will be picking cotton again. All right? And, you know, things look hella shady. All right? They look very fucking shady where I'm sitting looking at this footage and I never would have even thought to come here and look at this goddamn footage of what for my and a big out, you know, and him posting a video while we left or with one of those. And I went and looked. You know, sorry I did shit. Makes me sick, you know, because of what I saw this bullshit, you know, this crisis actor bullshit, and then I saw that, you know, motherfuckers that burnt the shit down. They keep trying to fuck with black people, okay? The, the minority majority and shit, and these bootlicks and these coons and these fucked up women and shit, these misandrists, you know, these activists and shit that do nothing for the community, all these motherfucking activists, 
my community is in no better condition and shit. I don't want to, you know, it's just bullshit. It's performative theater and shit. I'm about action, okay? I'm about action. I wouldn't mend my, my feet, my anything to a cause unless I know that's back, okay? So it sucks. And I just want to reiterate. You know, everything went above board. Everybody was so calm as they took down the arsonist that's about to burn down the piece of American history. You know? Piece of American history. And, well, she didn't succeed in what she was doing, apparently, but somewhere or another house the party was burnt to the ground. Right? It was supposedly in a state of disrepair and they were trying to get funds to fix it up again. I thought that was total bullshit. I thought it was total bullshit, man. What what are we gonna tell each other? I'm in my fucking fifties, and you know, I talk to my, you know, the one kid that I'm raising this shit, you know, regularly and all the time, you know. And I just don't know what to make of the generations that came after us, Generation X, you know. Because some fucking millennials were talking shit about, you know, Generation X. I, I got nothing for you except the tip of my food. And and whatever the fuck came after that, they just. You know, I just see a bunch of moist, dusty ass, effeminate, uh, you know, non-gender specific people walking around and shit. You know, you motherfuckers are interchangeable and shit with every passing generation. Why does this woman look normal? You know, what is her name? Will we ever find out her fucking name? Will they throw the book at her? Does it even matter and shit? To me, well, you know, sitting behind the door and everything. I just, you know, I see uh, a fiction, okay? I don't believe it, right? I don't believe any of this shit is real, right? I think this was a a, a performance. For what reason, we don't know. But hey, you know, next year's an election year, people have an opportunity to sit on your hands, okay? I wouldn't say both of you to fucking part. Nothing's gonna change. And no matter what happens, some of us will survive the bullshit, okay? All right? Some of us will survive the bullshit. Don't believe the fucking hype. All right? Don't believe the fucking hype and shit. This woman looks way too normal to have been fucked around with between so many cops and fire departments and shit. You no know, sense of urgency in any of the goddamn clips. You know, one where she's supposed to be pouring out the gas. You don't hear anyone screaming or getting upset. They're just calmly talking to her. And he calmly take her down. She's not even struggling, even though she's supposed to be, might be crazy and shit. When was the last time you saw an arsonist do that? Right? When was the last time you saw that? She doesn't show any malice or anything. Fucking calm and shit. She's definitely calm and she does her bad acting. No, brothers, I gotta say, man, if you don't feel no one will come. That's why he has to be able to stay this stuff black man. At, at about 5.47 this, this evening, uh, we were called to this location by citizens uh, calling 911, uh, reporting a possible attempt to set the King birth home on fire. Uh, we did arrive. When we arrived, there were two what we believed to be off-duty NYPD officers who had been visiting the center that had the individual detained. Uh, the investigation further revealed that two individuals uh, here from Utah uh, that were working the city that was visiting site had actually interrupted her, as we believe at this time she was pouring gasoline on the porch uh, and, the, and the door of the home. Their quick action uh, saved a jewel of our city, something very important to Atlanta. And so we do have a 26-year-old female detained. Uh, she will be charged this evening with criminal attempt arson and criminal attempt interference with government property. Uh, we are communicating uh, with both the district attorney's office as well as the U.S. attorney uh, and our partners at the ATF and FBI uh, to see where the facts of this case lead that may be adopted for federal prosecution.